What is up, comic book community? This is Lombok's Love Affair, and this is my finale of my free comic book day haul, where a store in my nearby area was having a huge sale. One dollar to three dollars a book, and you just had to spend the time to dig through their uncirculated, unsorted stock. So that is like a hunter's dream. That is a picker's dream. So uh, they s intersperse keys, throughout, as well as there was just value in there anyway. They weren't pulling out books and cherry picking or anything like that. I'm sure they, they might have looked through it at the time being, but I think their stock has just gotten so big that they wanted to move it. So they had so many long boxes in this room, and there were people digging everywhere, and I spent three hours. So uh, this, I showed two videos before this one. I showed the $1 books and the $2 books. These are the $3 books. So literally they look through your stack and they're like, okay, this is one, this is a two, this is a one, this is a $3 book. Uh, it didn't matter if it was worth more than $3, you still got it for one of those prices. So case in point, I'm just gonna jump into this haul. I found a book I love. This is one of my favorite X-Men books. It is not near mint. Let's just put that out there, but it is worth more than three bucks. Uncanny X-Men 135. Dark Phoenix Saga, my sweet spot. Awesome Phoenix crushing that logo. Uh, this is a beautiful John Byrne cover, and I couldn't have been more excited to find it, so I was happy to add another copy into my collection. In the $1 and $2 hauls, I had some spectacular Spider-Man books that tied into this one. This is the better condition of all of those, is the first, one of the early appearances of Spot, issue number 99. So this is going to pick up steam as the Spider-Verse movie starts to come out because this is a main antagonist. Picked up Iron Man 225. I believe this was hot for a moment with Armor Wars and the, the, the buzz around that, but there's, we'll see when that happens with the writer strike and everything going on. I think things are about to be delayed, but Iron Man 125, really nice, really nice copy. Also picked up a nice copy of Fantastic Four 272. And forgive the bags, these are all have been in storage, so I haven't rebagged anything. Early Nathaniel Summers, uh, I believe, is it Nathaniel Summers? I'll, I'll put a correction down below if not. So this book was about 30 bucks, I picked it up for three. A bunch of Star Wars books there, that was really cool to find. And I'm sure I passed on some value, but I knew some of the books uh, just from other YouTubers and, and, and folks on Instagram. So I picked up uh, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi number one, The Dark Horse, but I picked up three. There were three copies there. So uh, I do have some Star Wars. I'm not a diehard Star Wars fan, I have to admit, but I have picked up some of the recent stuff that's come out. Also picked up Star Wars Dark Empire, the second series, number one. I think it just, this just fell in there. I'm not sure if that's a good deal or not. I gotta look into it. Also on the Star Wars train is Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren number two, and this is the third printing black and white cover. And then Star Wars 20, I think this might be the origin of Black Kersantan. Two copies, gotta take that post-it off. Two copies of it. What's cool to find this book, X-Factor number five, uh, first cameo of Apocalypse, really nice condition book, uh, always a nice book to have. Number six is more of the money book in terms of the first appearance, it's the first full appearance, but number five is a nice addition. Avengers 160, my buddy Mark, who does comic hunting, he says he picks this book up every time he sees it. I have yet to own one, now I do. I think this is the debut of the new Wonder Man costume, I don't know if Wonder Man joins the team or not at this point, but uh, it's a little bit of a creepy cover, ants all over the place, but, you know, uh, that's not the reason for the book. I had two copies of this in my hand, and I think I put one back, because I don't think it's in this pile. Maybe it is. Uh, it might have been a bad, oh, a, a bad condition one, but this is the first Hellcat, uh, Avengers 144. Low-grade copy of Marvel Team-Up 15. This is an early Ghost Rider uh, appearance, a, a Ghost Rider team-up with Spider-Man. This book has been fetching some money, but again, it's lower grade. Three bucks, you can't go wrong. Another co copy of Iron Man 255, or 225. 
really nice copy of Sleepwalker number one. I am a Sleepwalker fan. This was the key book for me as a kid. I could never find it as a kid. Uh, I started reading Sleepwalker with issue number three, and that was my introduction to the Marvel Universe. I talk a lot about introdu getting introduced by the Jim Lee X-Men run or Rob Liefeld with X-Force or, or Todd McFarlane with Spider-Man, but Sleepwalker was really one of my first forays into superhero comics. Amazing Spider-Man. This is the first Spider-Punk, issue number 11. Is this Spider-Punk? Yeah, I think it is. Issue number 11. And then uh, Amazing Spider-Man 7. We got the first uh, Spider-Britain, or however, whatever the name is. And then Amazing Spider-Man 12. This another Spider-Verse book. Cool cover with uh, the... Um, inheritors and their prey. Uh, this is the first of the Leo Pardon, I think that's how you say it. First appearance of that. And then just for the heck of it, Free Comic Book Day Amazing Spider-Man from 2007. I think this was the beginning of a brand new day, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I have to double check on that. I bought Dr. Fate number one. I bought three copies, three dollars each. Uh, you know, it, that's actually less than cover price if you really think about it. Cover prices, oh, it's actually, it is cover price. I bought these for cover price, $3. Um, and, you know, I, I, I forgot that Dr. Fate was in the movie, uh, in the Black Adam movie, and that movie, I don't know if it did so well, and who knows what's happening with the DCU. So uh, these are more, let's hold on to them and see what happens. I got some really nice condition X-Men, so the first Jim Lee on X-Men, X-Men 248, and... The Mutant Massacre, 2010. Cool book. I remember this buying this in Canada for like 20 or 30 bucks as a kid. That was a big deal for me. It's a big deal for any kid to be spending 20 bucks on a comic book. I don't know much about this next book, but I know it's old. It, it looked like it was in, um, it was marked for $35, but they obviously had it in their stock here. Uh, Superman Pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 17. So I need to do a little research on this book. I've been recollecting the Jane Foster Thor books, and they had several copies of issue eight, which was the money book. It was the ID reveal of Jane Foster as Thor. So really cool book to have. Second US appearance of Captain Britain uh, in Marvel Team Up 66. Marvel feature 12 with Thing and Iron Man featuring the Blood Brothers. This ties into an early, early Thanos appearance. So um, it is second Blood Brothers, but it ties into that. I can't remember if Thanos is in this book or not, but this book was worth something for a little bit. Miss Marvel 12, a first appearance, and I got three of them. So we'll see, this is a hold on to and see what happens with Miss Marvel. Early Thor, early Fire Lord, second or third appearance of Fire Lord, Thor 226. Look how small Galactus is in this. Uh, I may own this already. I am not sure. I have to double check. And it has a value stamp in it, and it's intact. That's nice. Thor 617, first appearance of a kid Loki. Jack Kirby's New Gods, number three and four. I know this is the first appearance of the Black Racer, and these are in really nice condition. Avengers 195, the cameo of the Taskmaster. Mighty Avengers 1, another key team appearance. Two copies. Secret Avengers 19, the debut of the Mr. Knight business suit uh, costume for Moon Knight. And I found one, two, three... Uh, we'll see what happens with Moon Knight. I'm a little skeptical on that, but I didn't love the show, actually. I kept falling asleep during it. <laughs> but I, I do like the business suit costume. I like that type of key. New X-Men 129, second appearance of Phantom X, and first cover. Omega the Unknown, number one. This is a character that Marvel brought back from obscurity recently. Uh, so uh, they haven't done anything w since the Darkhold story. So we'll see if any of that happens. The last set of books I'm going to show, uh, are, I'm surprised I found them in the bins. I found them towards the end of my hunting. I was exhausted. I was done. Uh, but I found a whole nice run of uh, Bronze Age Warlock. So the Power of Warlock 3, 4, 6, 
seven, actually two copies of seven, eight, another copy of eight, and 15, the last issue of the run. I didn't see any Jim Starlin run of this, which starts at issue nine. Uh, and then the last book I'm gonna show, which is one I need to look into, is Brave and the Bold, 86, Dead Man, Superman, Neil Adams. Really cool Neil Adams cover. I'm pretty sure that's Neil. Um, he did a lot of Dead Man stuff. He did Super or Batman back in the day, but really cool book. I was excited to have that. It has a sticker of five bucks on it. It might be worth five bucks, but I'm, I'm you know, it's kind of a cool one to have. I, ha I would like to have some of the early Dead Man books. I do have his first appearance. Um, so that is it. That is Free Comic Book Day in a nutshell. And here's the hint. Here's a spoiler or a teaser for you. I went back on day two. I went back on Sunday. The store was open. They had their annex open, uh, which they won't always have it open, but they had the sale running. And I found a, just over a half a short box that I have at my feet that I'm going to show off. So stay tuned for that. I, I will film that at a later date. But uh, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't watched the other two, the dollar and the two dollar finds, those are incredible finds. Those are not typical dollar books. Those are not typical two dollar books. And to find these books for basically less than cover price was pretty amazing. So kudos to To Be Continued Comics. I appreciate them uh, and the sale that they're doing and, and they do this every so often. So if you're in the area, check them out. They have a great back issue selection, regardless of the sale or not. They're, they're, they have a great selection and they're at uh, local conventions too. So uh, if you need details, hit me up in the comments and I'll, 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 I'll tell you where to find those conventions. So thanks again. Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.